I'm here at Mission Hill Family Estate with winemaker John Symes, and we're talking cool climate whites. Now, John, what is it about British Columbia that has the ability to produce such great white wines? It's a combination of the heat that we get in July and August. We get really warm in the vineyards, so we get the sugar development and the flavor development in the berries. But as we move into the fall, the temperatures drop, and so we retain the acidity in the grapes. So we get the heat in the summer to develop the sugar and the flavors, cooler nights in the falls, and retain the acidity, and that's what you're looking for in a, in a white grape, is the balance between the two. We get it every year here in BC. Now, there are a few who may argue that BC isn't even truly cool climate when you compare it to, say, Champagne or New Zealand. What are your thoughts on that? I agree. In fact, one of the things that, uh, that I say to people is British Columbia is a short, warm climate. Uh, you know, my, before I came to um, British Columbia, my winemaking career was in Marlborough, New Zealand. And if we got 31, 32 degrees during the day, uh, you know, we'd think, you know, the world was coming to an end, you know, global warming, you know, horror. Well, here in BC, if we get, if we don't get into the uh, low 40s in July and August, we're, that would be unusual, right? So it's completely different to what I think of as a cool climate. It's short, for a short period of time, we get really hot. And then for a short period of time, we get really cold. But it's uh, not what I would call a cool climate at all. And you know, I know you're a humble gentleman. However, a number of years ago, one of your wines took home an award that probably changed the face of BC and Canadian wine altogether. Well, we were, we were very fortunate. We won a trophy for the best Chardonnay in the world in uh, 1994. And I think it was, the, it was the first really big award that a Canadian wine had won, or a British Columbia wine anyway. It gave the people in the industry a lot of confidence to go and invest and plant more vineyards and buy more barrels. Yeah, it was a big milestone for us and for the valley. It's got to be exciting being such a young industry to be a part of so many firsts. And continuing to strive for more awards, I know you're working on other Chardonnays, and this looks like a brand new one, the Perpetua? Yeah, this is brand new, yeah. We did the first, first year we did this was 2006. Uh, it's from, it's all from a vineyard we planted in 1996 uh, in the Soyuz. Uh, three different clones of Chardonnay right down on the US border. Partially barrel fermented, and we should have a taste. Give this one a try, beautiful color. Yeah. Fabulous Granny Smith apple with a little bit of hot buttered toast there. Well, I'm no judge, but I'm happy to give this the award for today. Cheers, Cheers. John. Great job. Thank you.